Hello, this is our Blase Blah. Hello, welcome to another edition of Blase Blah. Hello, you know when you start, when we start these videos yeah. and you go, hello, yeah. it's kind of hard, isn't it? Because we're still getting used to yeah. introducing our video, so still always bear with us. So, uh, so what's the so, topic? What are we talking about? Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hello. In today's news, Theresa May, our Prime Minister, had just uh, changed her BlackBerry for an iPhone. Now, we don't really want to talk too much about that today because it's not the most interesting subject, but it did bring to mind the general topic of mobile phones, smartphones over the years. Um, what's your initial thoughts, Huge? What, on Theresa May changing her life? <laughs> <laughs> well, go on, yeah, let's run with that for now. Well, I, <laughs> what? I, we're going to be, I'll be honest, it wasn't my type of topic that I wanted to, but we, 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 we're we going to go for it. Theresa May changing her iPhone is is a. I mean, do you think it's a step? An iPhone? Sorry, do you think it's a step up? Do you think do you think it was time to move on from the BlackBerry? Well, I don't, I, I really don't. You know, it's one of those trivial kind of uh, topics about phones because it's the world we live in, and I think it's probably uh, it, it's it's just reflecting to say that she's out of touch with what's actually going on. Because you know, uh, apparently BlackBerry don't even ex make phones well, anymore. Apparently, apparently, they stopped making phones in two thousand sixteen. No, I'm not chastising mm. the prime minister for having a two year old model of a phone. It mm. It's not really to my point. Yeah, sure. I know, I know this is not quite the, quite profound enough for you today. You just yeah, I, I don't want to come across like I'm bougie and I don't want to take on every <laughs> certain trivial stories. But as talking about it, I, I just think it's uh, the fact that it's in the news. I think um, uh, uh, I mean, it just shows the type of world. I mean, people. Uh, I mean, basically. I mean, hey, 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 here you go, here you go, here you go. I've got an avenue. I've got an avenue. Got, got, got an avenue. He's got an avenue. I've got an avenue. Go on. Are the media? Yeah. Yeah. True. Are judging people by the phones that they have? So they're obviously judging Theresa May by the phone that she has, that I, she signed up that out of touch. So they're scraping to find anything I think it's obviously negative a, about I her. think it's obviously a slow news day, isn't it? Obviously. It really is a slow news day. Yeah, We're struggling yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Phones are important to the point where, it, I mean, are they a fashion accessory? Does it really matter whether she's got an iPhone? Do they do the same job? Is it, does it? Who cares? I mean, no, so personally speaking, how, how do you feel about smoke, smartphone culture? Could you live without your smartphone today? Can I live without my smart my, my smartphone? Yeah, I could live. I actually could live, and and you could live too, and and anyone can live without a phone. The only problem is, is if we just got so addicted to it. That's all. No, I know. I think I think I think moderation is the word that I'm looking for here because mm -hmm. I think smart. Don't get me wrong. Smartphones are good. I like them. Yeah, you, know, you can get a lot of information from them. It's like walking around with your living room in your back pocket these days because you've got your music, you've got your maps, you've got your encyclopedia. You know, it just goes on and on and on. Mm. You know, it's it's a great tool. But sometimes what I find a bit unnerving is when I get on a train and I just see everybody plugged into their iPhone or their Samsung or whatever smartphone smart device they use. Mm. And sometimes I feel like I've walked into an alternative reality. It's it's a bit bizarre because whatever happened to looking out, out uh, whatever happened to looking out the window, you know. I remember when I was a child, a young teenager, I used to go on holidays to Wales to visit my cousin, and I remember pulling out the station. I used to watch the inner city go by, and then we'd go into the suburbs, and then into the countryside. And I used to have thoughts and daydreams, and my imagination ran a bit wild while I was looking at all those changing scenes. But now if I was going on a train at 14 years old, I'd just be logged into my smartphone on Facebook or Twitter or WhatsApp. And I'd miss all that. And I just think something, we've gained a lot, but I think something's been lost along the way. Yeah, um, this is, this is, these are the things that we, the society we're trying to adjust to is, is a, a world where people are looking at their uh, digital devices. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> It's very worrying about it, it's going to create different types of human beings in the future. It's going to take it's going to create different levels of concentration span. Yeah. Uh, for for young people, uh, whether they can concentrate on natural things around them. Because that's a good, very good example. Because I remember I was in Hampstead Heath a few years ago, 
that I saw a young woman. Mm. She was on her phone calling her friends that were about 50 yards away from her, mm. but she could not see them. Mm. Now, if she hadn't actually picked up her phone to call her friends, she'd have actually used her, what was in her vision, and she'd have found her friends. We all used to find people before, didn't we? Absolutely. You we know, did. We you, used to meet people. You know, one of the things that I used to remember, what I remember, I just remember if you made a... Basically, if you said to somebody, I'll meet you tomorrow yeah, 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 yeah. at the the pub. Yeah. Yeah, if you're drinking pubs. I'll meet you tomorrow at the pub at six o'clock. You'd have to meet him at yeah, six o'clock. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a contract that you'd have to stand That's on. That's very true, actually. Very um, true. If you didn't turn up, you would people want to find out and know about you know yeah that's right there'd be people would be pissed at you yeah exactly like i was there waiting for you and you never turned up because you wouldn't be able to phone them or find out or you know you'd have to find out a few days later yeah. or when you get home and call them yeah exactly, exactly. To, exactly. To, to find out exactly exactly i mean now now people are looking there in their whatsapp groups and and this group and that group and like you say it, it was it was simple i mean i actually i actually come from a time where we only had a landline at home. And if your mother was on the phone, and your friend tried to, I'd be screaming at my mother, please get off the phone, please get off the phone, my friend's trying to phone me. Yeah, oh, we've been invaded here. We've been invaded here. Hey. Hey. We're just talking about mobile phones. We're just talking the about mobile phones. The best things ever. The best things, things ever. ever. Do you see? Could, Could you look, close the door, please? We'll the mouths phone. of young babes. Okay, now my daughter's just got involved into this conversation. Okay. So be professional, babe. Okay? okay. So basically, what you've just got your first mobile phone. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. So, what do you think of having about having a mobile phone? What's it's it not like? really a mobile phone. It's like a hand me down because you gave me your Nokia. Absolutely try that right. I, yeah, I do. It's like the worst phone. It's the worst the phone. phone. What, I, phone no you, what phone would you me. like, ideally? The iPhone X. Okay, iPhone X. <laughs> what do you know you about? Can, you can, I don't even know what the iPhone X is. Oh, God. Have you been living under a rock all your life? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a really good phone that Apple have just... Not really just, but like, it came out a couple months ago. And um, it's um, you can unlock it with your face. It's like that big. It's really big. And um, there's this app called Animoji. Okay. And it's really okay. cool. Wonderful. Um, now, can I can I ask you a question? Energy. Okay. If you were going on a long train journey, or even you know for for a couple of hours, like to Birmingham. Yeah. Say to exactly. Say to Birmingham. That's a great example. If you were going to Birmingham for two hours, would you, and you had that iPhone that you've been talking about, iPhone X. would you be on the iPhone X or would you be looking out the window? Probably. Well, it depends. If my battery has run out, then. I will look out the window. Uh, naturally, but if you had the option if, of looking at the window was, or looking at your iPhone X, what would you rather do? Um, I'd rather... You can be on this. I'd look at my iPhone X, but then I, when when I have the iPad, can go away. Oh! When I, when I have... Um, there we go, the full right. compliment. Like, there we when, go. When, when, um, Hello, Kate. Can you Kate. go away? Your logo is on your top. Okay, come. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. No, no, okay, no. don't worry. Um, and um, when I were, when I have the iPad, when I have the iPad, sorry about this, everybody. When I have the iPad, we're talking about fun, so you need to come and into Kane this. Wants yeah, it. later on, one moment. Go ahead. When I have the iPad and Kane yeah. wants it, um, like, and like, there's an option of the TV and the iPad. Okay. Um, I usually give him the iPad because. You can do things on the TV like okay. you do on the iPad. Mm. So I, I like, usually get so bored of electronic devices. Like yeah, yesterday, you get bored of them in the end. Mm. Okay, yeah, like, that's good enough like to hear. Like yesterday, um, she had the t TV remote and the iPad. He has an addiction so to Roblox. <laughs> He's like, wow. We're talking about mobile phones here. Talking about mobile, mobile phones. phones. Yeah. Everything. Okay. We're just saying, can you live without your mobile phone? Uh, yeah. Definitely not, because I get emails from all my mobile no. phone for work. Okay, but okay. What, mm. one at a time, what, everybody. But what about before? Would you you could have just checked your emails you on your computer? True, I did live without my mobile phone mm. before, though. Okay. Yeah. How long do you think you could live without? Times you. changed. In reality, how how long? I suppose our times have changed. I agree. 
What it is, I think people um, require your response immediately, and if yeah, you don't get back to them immediately, uh, somebody yeah, else sweaty. will. Yeah, that's, that's, not right. that's why the business. That's why, so that I can just get back to people quickly mm. on my mobile, mm. rather than wait till I get home in the evening and then go on the computer. Yeah, I do. Oh, do you okay. like Mark the yeah. robot, by the way? Yeah, I'm trying with to. Name, with name Mark after Mark Zuckerberg. He's so, okay. so basically, we sorry about this. We got invaded in this yeah. really gripping yeah. story about phones yeah. and trees and May. May. Yeah. Okay. But we just want to say Let we're going to end it right. Should we be in yeah. it now with a goodbye? Wait, yeah. Wait, wait, no. Bye. Oh, here we go. This, this is Bob. He can walk. He can talk. He can clap like this. Oops, squashed him. Bye, Felicia. To me, hello. <laughs> Thank you very much. To me, he's Thanks always a lot. been Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so, you. Steve, so what do we say? So, what do we say? Okay. Sorry for that invasion. Okay. That's just a family just coming home from school. Okay. Right, so from we're from Eton. I know. We've taken on your daughter's... She's 11, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Um, she, 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 she did, to be fair, she had a bit of a mixed, mixed bag of it, although she did seem to uh, lean towards having the phone rather than looking out the window, I suppose. And... Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, my kid, I mean, just like any child, children no, today, they all love phones. Uh, you, you can't get them off of it. It's just, it's just the natural part of the world uh, that they live in today. And as, as sorry, as a father, do you ever try to have downtime with the kids, like when they're? Yeah, the sure. I mean, literally, it's hard to police yourself, really, yeah, yeah. or parent yourself yeah. when it comes to using a phone. Um, to say to yourself, you stop. So it's, it's, you know, I, I don't think we should get really angry at our children uh, when they okay. use phones because. We find it hard to come off phone. So if you if you leave those devices and phones or tablets or whatever is around you, you, yeah. you know it's it's hard for them to for us to discipline ourselves. So it's going to be hard for them. No, it's very hard. I remember my nephews. I mean, when the Pokemon phenomenon came in, I, I did. I, I I do remember. Did you it. engage in that huge? Uh, what the taking pictures of Pokemon, yeah, chasing, well, the Pokemon. chasing Pokemon all around London. No, I, sadly, I, <laughs> well, I my life one is a little instant, bit more busy. I must admit, during that during that phase, I found that very frustrating because I remember going to football with my nephews, and we were in the car. And it was about a forty-five minute journey, and I tried to have some sort of conversation with them during that time, and all they could do was say, uh, "Talk about these Pokemon that they've seen, like these." These I, I didn't even really understand it totally, but uh, but uh, but uh, I felt that something was lost during the Pokemon phase. Uh, with my engagement with my uh, younger nephews. Yeah, well, um, your technology will always uh, think, win, Steve. I think, so I think to win. round it up, for me personally, with smartphones and technology, I think something's gained and maybe a little bit's lost. I think we've lost a lot. Yeah. But we've gained a lot, yeah. but we've lost a lot. Yeah. Just want to say thank you for tuning in. Sorry about the invasion of my family just coming in, but this is the real world. This is what happens, right? We like to keep it real on Blase Blah. 100%. Okay. Take care, everybody. Take care, guys. Peace.